After a three-month summer vacation, the halls of Darien High School fill with students, and the Blue Wave athletic teams return to work. The 2022 high school fall sports season is once again here. Hi everybody, I'm Braden Shank, and we welcome you to this DAF Media Special. 2021 brought Darien Athletics four FCAC titles, five state titles, and many more memories and accomplishments along the way. We fast forward a year to 2022, and we're here to preview the fall sports season. We start our previews out on the gridiron with DAF Media's Dylan Dorisa with more on this year's football team. Coming off an undeniably successful season, the Blue Wave varsity football team is back on the turf. The boys are looking a bit different though with plenty of inexperience on both sides of the ball. Besides the captains, the team has some returning players with experience. Robert McElhose and Mac McGarren are two defensive players who will see significant time this year after beginning their varsity careers last season. Among newer faces, quarterback Simeon Dahl will have big shoes to fill after the graduating of two-year starter Miles Drake. Head coach Mike Forget has no plans of slowing down the progress he started in his first season as commander-in-chief. We've got youth, but, you know, they've got energy and, you know, a little inexperienced, but honestly, we've been working hard. You know, nothing's going to come without hard work. We're kind of going to try to do what they did last year with, um, you know, just go, th just kind of gain experience one game at a time. Um, but, you know, I don't really have any um, doubts about the skill level. We really breed depth uh, in DJFL. Uh, kids have to play, and it's not like coaches are favoriting other guys. Everybody's playing in the game. So, you know, everybody has experience playing football. Experience and effort kind of washed over down to younger grades and that, you know, we've really helped teach young guys how to do their job and be as good of a team as last year. Forge expects no less than the maximum effort from the 2022 edition of the Darien football squad. Thanks, Dylan. The Darien field hockey team is looking to avenge a penalty stroke loss in last year's state semifinals. Veteran head coach Mo Minikis will lead the defending FCAC champs into the 16-game regular season with a senior-heavy squad. For the start of the season, I think that we're looking pretty good. Definitely there are some kinks to work out, but I'm expecting a great season. I mean, we worked really hard last year, keeping up the intensity that we had. Darian has always been a really strong field hockey team, but this year the FCAC in general is really strong. So we're just hoping to play our best, play against some good competition. We've had a really tough preseason, and the team has brought it every single day and the intensity is looking really good in practice and I hope we can carry that through to our games and that just starts with us and like mo really motivating the team. Our team is really talented. We have a lot of young people um, and a lot of returning starters so we should be looking pretty strong this year. Over on the center oval, boys soccer head coach John Bradley is looking to carry over that 2021 magic. A near upset of the number one seeded Xavier in the state quarterfinals is where Darianne left it. But the Blue Wave has some unfinished business after the 9-1-5 regular season a year ago. Really just to win as much as possible, win the championships, the FCAC and States, hopefully make a run there as we lost last year to uh, Xavier. Pretty high expectations. We got a lot of returning guys, especially in our starting 11, so really hopeful for this upcoming season. High numbers of underclassmen, sophomores and juniors that are really promising. We're all friends, so I'm really excited to see where the season takes us. We're hoping to make runs in both the FCAC and State tournament. Almost. 11 of us have been starting for three years together, so I think we have really high connection rate, um, and I think we're going to be able to finish all these goals this year. On the girls' side of the ball, the Wave posted a 6-8-1 record a year ago, an upset Southington in overtime in the state playoffs. Darianne returns many senior spark plugs from that team, along with a dash of new talent. Um, we're just really excited to see what this team can do. Um, like you said, we have a lot of strength coming back this year um, and new strength coming in. What I like most about the team is our energy. Um, everyone comes to practice with a good attitude. They're ready to work. They're focused. And um, you can see it on the field. We're not trying to like set too high of expectations for ourselves. Mainly just trying to go into every game with the confidence that we can win, but not going into every game expecting a win to keep a good attitude throughout the season. The story of the 2021 Blue Wave girls volleyball team was dominance, except against the Greenwich Cardinals. The team won 21 matches but fell in the FCAC title game and state semifinals to those Cardinals. With only one player lost to graduation, Darian returns most of that squad from a year ago. The Wave looks to end their eight-year drought of bringing home a piece of championship hardware. 
So we have a really strong team again this year. We only lost one senior, um, and our mental game is really strong. We all really connect. And so this year we're looking to get pretty far in both the FCAC and state tournaments. Make a good run in the postseason, have a lot of fun during the games. Um, we have a good group back this year, like I said, and I'm really excited to see what our team can do. We have a great group of girls coming back this year, a lot of experience playing in the off season, and we're looking forward to keep running a fast and aggressive offense to push us to the postseason. The Blue Wave Cross Country program will sprint their way into a new season this fall. The boys squad placed ninth in the Class L meet a year ago, while the girls finished fourth. The schedule is filled with meets, including not one, but two at the friendly confines of the DHS running path. The defending Class L girls swimming and diving Blue Wave will hop back in the pool this fall. Under head coach Marge Trafone, the Wave returns four All-FCAC honorees and will once again swim at the Darien YMCA. This year's team will look to continue the longtime success of the program. I'm just super excited for the season. Um, we're really close and we've been doing a lot of team bonding and we've been working really hard. So I think it's going to be really good. We have really high expectations. Even though we've only been training for like a week or so, I can tell we're going to be a really good team. And I'm also looking forward to like building relationships with everybody and hopefully we have a really fast season ahead of us. Boys golf returns to the links for a year two in the fall season. The boys finished fifth at the state championships last year and will once again play home matches at all three of Darien's prestigious country clubs, including Weeburn. That'll do it for this DAF Media Special. I've been Braden Shank, and we thank you for watching.